The first one is I want to give you a tutorial on how to sell custom digital products using Thrivecart. Okay, so Thrivecart, as you probably well know, is my absolute favorite way of selling your products online. Now, selling courses and selling ebooks and all that are pretty simple and pretty easy, run of the mill way of selling and delivering and fulfilling your products. But I had an interesting question from a subscriber saying, hey, I want to sell a customized digital product. Like I want to take their date of birth, put it onto a book or like color the book differently and ship them the book just like that. So that was what they wanted to do. And they were asking if Thrivecart or Shopify, what should she use to achieve this objective? And first I was like, if it were me, I wouldn't really want to have to fulfill every product one by one, especially if it's a digital product. If it's like a customized mug where you're putting their name and face and all that stuff on there, that's great. Digital products, there's going to be a reason for that, whether it's a gift or novelty, something like that. But is it possible to create and sell custom digital products in Thrivecart? And the answer is yes. In fact, I want to give you two different ways of doing this. One is um, they're both very simple and they both require zero tech. So by the end of this video, you are going to learn how to set up the ability to get custom fields, custom information from your customers when they buy your products on Thrivecart. All right. So before we dive into it, if you don't have a funnel up yet, if it's not working quite right for you, feel free to head on over to, I should put a link in the chat right now, my free funnel blueprint. This is what I use every time I'm building a new sales funnel. It's a completely free download. You can go to um, unbeatabletech.com slash funnel blueprint. I see it just added up on the, the chat there, which is super cool. And download your free copy of my free funnel blueprint. It walks through, I think it's the seven step process that I'm using for everyone on my funnels, including setting up the tech, mapping out which one, choosing the right funnel for you, all that great stuff. It's free for you. Go ahead and click on that link in the description and grab it. All right, so let me go ahead and dive into Thrivecart here. This is going to be hands-on, click-by-click. We're going to work through the entire process, and I'm just getting logged in here. There we are. So I will share my screen if I can, and here we go. All right, let me know if you can see the screen. It should be coming up right now. Cool, and I'll do it like this so the screen is big and I'm small. Um, According to this screen, I've only made $1 on Thrivecart today. So I actually do make money on the internet, but this is a test account I use specifically for tutorials like this in case any people are like, hey, that doesn't look quite right. You say you make money on the internet. This is just a test account for videos like this. All right, so don't, don't hate on me or anything like that just because I'm using a funny account. All right, so what I want to walk through on this one is how to set up a digital product that can have custom fields included. Custom fields like date of birth, anything like that. We've already covered this. So what I have here is if you go into the products area, I've already started to design out a custom book. We can kind of take a look at what that would look like here. And I'm actually using Bookify, which is one of our premium Thrivecart templates that you can also take a look at if you go to our premium template store. I'll put a link in the, um, in the chat as well for this. Let me go to the call to action and hide that. So we put together tons and tons of awesome looking templates, whether you're selling uh, digital products like printables or books or courses or coaching, there's a Thrivecart template that should work just right for you. We've gotten tons of great feedback. You can go take a look at the link I just put into the chat and take a look there. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna use Bookify because the person who asked me the question wants to sell a book. So I was like, hey, that just kind of makes sense. So this is the idea of this template where we're showing all these great things. But what if we actually wanted to collect more information from the customer when they're checking out? What if we actually wanted to get the date of birth, which like personally, I don't like getting all that personal information from people, but this is a use case for a customer. And if we wanted to add a custom field here, there's really two ways of collecting information. I'll go ahead and walk you through the first one now, which is simply adding additional fields onto the checkout form and then also showing you how to actually engage with that content once it's already done. All right, so let's dive into Thrivecart here. I'm gonna go straight into the edit checkout of this product. And this is gonna pull up in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the checkout form, here we are. And if you click on the actual fields here, 
you've got the option to add things like business name or contact phone number, email or um, physical address, things like that. But then there's a little checkbox down here that says add custom fields. All right, I'm gonna check on add custom fields right here and it's gonna ask me to set up some custom fields. And I'm also just gonna hide my face just to make sure that I don't cover anything up accidentally. All right, so that should be like that. Now for field ID, this is something that you're going to be able to look at uh, after the fact and, and find the information in your database. I'm simply going to put in birthday as my field ID. And then the label is what's actually going to show up for your customers when they're on the checkout process. So here I'm gonna call it, uh, let's say your birthday. And I'll put in mm slash dd slash yy, ooh, yy, 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 I think that's enough y's. It's a lot of y's. All right, and then I'm also, I think this is pretty important to include it in your customer's invoice. What that allows you to do, let me kind of come on the camera here. If you put the information on the customer invoice, the customer has a record of what they put in the checkout field, which is pretty important to me, especially if let's say this is like a custom order and they think you did it wrong, but you can kind of show them, hey, on the invoice, this is what you put on the information. I can't double check your work. So I think that's a very useful feature to have there. So let me go back to my screen. And uh, you can add another thing here. So let's also maybe want to have a custom color. So we'll say color over here and your favorite color. Python, all right there, okay. My favorite color is blue, no, green. All right, so now we have our checkout form as well as our payment information, coupon codes, all that great stuff. And then you can keep going with more testimonials and more sales page content, which looks great. All righty, so we've done that. That is version number one. Let's go ahead and just run through. Um, well, to save your time, let me set up both version one and version two. So version one, and we're gonna, we're gonna show you how this all works. Version one is simply adding the information at checkout, which has some pros and has some cons. The pros is it's one less step for the customer to take care of and for you to look at. The cons of this, however, is there's more information you're asking at checkout. And what that does as the digital marketer and all of us will understand, the more stuff you're asking for people, the longer the checkout form is, the less conversions, the less purchases you would expect to get over time. So you wanna make it easy for them to buy from you while still getting the information you need, okay? So you might get less sales, but it might be easier for your customers. You kinda have to walk that line to decide what's right for you. That's version one. Version two is setting up a post-purchase -proce post process where you collect the information on the thank you page after the purchase is done, all right? So I wanted to kinda show you where we're going with all this as we're doing it. So now let's go back into our editor because I want to go ahead and do them both just so we don't, there's less bouncing back and forth and less test transactions we're making. All right, so this is the sales page, right? Or the cart page as they call it here. We can also click over here to the success page. So this is what's going to happen. And you can see we already have some built-in content here for you if you purchase our Bookify template. Um, there's some pre-built content. I'm going to remove some of this and just keep this very simple. And what we could say is customize your blank, 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 like your, your book, your, you know, your, your mug, whatever it is you're selling, you can have them customize it here. And then using a hyper sophisticated software called Google, <laughs> you can create a form. So I'm pretty sure most of us have either built one of these or have at least um, you know, used it in the past. Me. Oops, oopsies, oopsies. Oh, here I am all messing myself up here. We've all probably used a Google form in the past. You can create them. You don't even need a professional Google account. You just go to, um, I think it's just drive.google.com, create your account, and then you can build a form like this. So to save time, I built out a simple form showing custom order input for Thrivecart, where I'm asking for a birthday and asking for a little drop down of color. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is you also probably want to get their name and and other things like that to link it up to the order that actually happened in Thrivecart, you, you get the idea, right? Put, a, put whatever information you want here, it's just a form. Now I'm gonna click on send, and I can actually get little brackets over here, and this gives me HTML, which sounds very scary, but we're not gonna be scared today, we're gonna do this. So I'm copying that HTML, and now I simply need to bounce back to my thank you page, which is where we are right here, and there's a block, which I'm covering up, so let me uh, go to the screen only. I'm going to go to the HTML block. I'm just gonna drag this, did I get it? Here, let me, there we go. And I'm just gonna drag it underneath there. 
Um, and you can play with the order. Maybe you want the, the total to show up at the top. You, you play with it however you want to. But I'm going to come into the HTML once I'm happy with the placement of everything, and I'm just going to hit Paste. All right, and what that's going to do is actually show the form that they uh, that you want them to see directly there on the screen when they get to the thank you page. So I personally like this one a little bit more. I feel like I really don't want to collect a whole lot of information on the checkout. I want them to go ahead and complete their purchase. And on the thank you page, even after they make their purchase, they can come back to this page and um, you know, update it or whatever they need to do. They'll have a link back to this thank you page once they're done with the purchase. All right. So now let's go ahead and um, do a test transaction where we can see how both of these would kind of work out in practice. All right, I'm going to save and get the URL, get the link, and take a look at this page. All right, so what's beautiful about Thrivecart and the templates we put together is you can build as long and as meaty of a sales page as you'd like, and whenever you feel like it's a good time to make an offer to go ahead and click the Buy button, they don't need to click to other pages. They don't need to have more steps in their process. They can click this Buy button, and it'll take them right down to the checkout form. All right, and what's cool about this is take a look. So now because we added in the, um, the custom fields, you can see there's more information we're asking for on the checkout form, which again, I, I'm going to like <laughs> say this too much, right? Like I'm not a huge fan of this because I feel it does add friction to the process, but it gets the job done. So let's go ahead and put our information in here. My name is John Whitford. Nice to meet you. And let's use this email address. And now it's asking for your birthday. Now, one downside here is there's no real validation. Like I could put in five digits for the month and it's just text, okay? So just be aware of that limitation here. But again, it's pretty easy. So I'll put in my a different birthday. I am not born on January 1st, but I was born in 1988. And then we can ask for your favorite color. I'm gonna say blue, agree to the terms. And now I'm going to actually, I found this out. Um, I'm gonna make a real purchase. And I'm going to hide the screen while I do this because uh, you actually need to have a real transaction to show all the invoice and all the history. So let me put in, I'm buying this for $1, just double checking. And I'm going to put in my credit card information now. While I'm doing this, put in the chat your favorite color. And I would appreciate that. Being goofy today. And put in my little three digits. Okay. Oh, I put on the expiration date wrong. Okay. Card in. It is going. And there we go. Okay. So it, it's doing its process. So I'll kind of show over here. Whoa, look how cool this is. Multiple screens. <laughs> I've been geeking out a little bit cleaning my office recently. All right. Now let me stop dilly-dallying and let's go back to sharing the screen. Okay. So this is now the thank you page. The order is complete, money has transacted, and I'm on the thank you page of this. I spent no time on like branding the form or anything, right? But now I can go through and I have got, oh, great, I've got some information here. Um, I am currently logged in to my computer, which is why it has my email address up there, but you could, if even if they go to an incognito window, it'll ask for their email address and things like that. Red and blue, but not together. <laughs> thank you, luxury card store. Red and blue, but not together. Oh, are you are you hating on my my color scheme back here? It's so cool. I can just change them however I want to. So but thank you. I, I appreciate that feedback. And I'm going to pop you up on the screen. Cool. All right. So now they can go through. Again, this is two versions of the same solution. We're solving the same problem twice. So you don't need to do, to do both of these, right? You pick which one is right for you, and I'll give my commentary at the end. But here, what's nice is I actually do have a color picker. So I could say my date of birth is January... 12th and 1900, I'm an old geezer. And my favorite color has drop downs now. So some of this is, is nice, right? Like if you only have a few different uh, SKUs, let's say you ha you're selling mugs or whatever, or, or book covers, and you can only, only do red or blue as your book cover, you can actually have a drop down here instead of giving a free form. So that's kind of helpful. And then I can say submit. And it'll say, and you can customize this in Google to maybe take them to a different URL, send them an email with their information, all that great stuff. But the job is done. So what does this look like in the back end? What do you do as the seller, right? Okay, you've got money, but now how do I get access to this information? 
So we're gonna come back and here's the order I just did. Because we clicked on that all important button to add the information into their invoice, if I wanted to, on a one-by-one -one basis, I can see the orders come in. I could even, if you're selling multiple products, you can say, hey, let me filter down to a specific product. I wanna find only the custom books. And then I can see just those orders and I can come here to the invoice, boom. And on the invoice is going to have my information here for the customer, the birthday with the answer and your favorite color with the answer. And so with that, you would be able to do whatever you need to do. If you need to go in and customize your product to ship it out, you've got that information right there. And then also on the other hand, if you did the Google Forms method, you've got your responses here and you can go through individual responses and see the information right there, all right? So a couple, uh, a couple different options there for the big goal of being able to sell custom stuff, not just an ebook, which is the same old ebook for everybody, but to be able to actually make it a gift or make it customized and uh, individualized for the customer. So the answer is yes, you can use Thrivecart for that, but you're going to want to just understand what the workflow would be or what the mindset would be when doing it. Um, as far as my personal take on this, what I would probably do, I would go the route of having something on the back end, like the Google form option, option two. What I would say on the sales page is, hey, what happens next? As soon as you make your purchase, here's what's gonna happen next. On the thank you page, there'll be a very simple form where you can fill out your information and submit it and I'll take care of the order and you'll get it within whatever, three, five days, whatever your um, rules are. The reason why I like that is one, you're being clear up front with the customer that, hey, this is how it works and what's gonna happen afterwards. Um, that's one reason why I like this. The other reason why I like it is it's less work on the checkout page. But on your receipt, when you go through, it's gonna have a link that's gonna take them back to that thank you page where you can go in. So if they're wanting to make the purchase and you have all this information on the checkout form right there, they might not know the date of birth of their great granddaughter or whatever, like their, whatever their, their issue is. And that's all friction preventing them from making the purchase. If they know, hey, you can always come in and update it afterwards, they're gonna make the purchase now and they can come back and fulfill it whenever they are ready. All right, so uh, luxury card store says this sounds so cool. And I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you're selling luxury cards, hey, this could be something for you to do of actually customizing your luxury cards. So hopefully that was helpful. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some value from it, please help me out by clicking that like button so more people can find it and be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of my next video. Oh, and by the way, I have a free gift for you, my free funnel blueprint. You can find it on a link somewhere around here that'll help you launch your next successful sales funnel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.